This is the Complete Lexical Tutor version 6.2. This is a data-driven language learning website and here you can find a lot of very interesting and useful tools. The tool that we'll look at today is called Vocab Profile. So if we just go inside here we can see at the top is the classic Vocab Profile English version 0.3 which we'd like to go into to analyze English text. This website is for French and English text analysis. Now here I'm going to paste in some language from uh, a research article on the topic of teacher development because I want to analyze the words in this text and in particular I'm interested in words from the academic word list. So if I just go down to submit the vocab profile will do an analysis of the words in this text and you can see here you have colors blue, green, yellow and red. Now the blue and green words belong to what's called the general service list and the words in yellow come from the academic word list. Now this is particularly useful if you're teaching English for academic purposes because you can input text into this tool to analyze how many words are from the academic word list. And you're hopefully looking for between 10% and, and above. Um, Off-list words are rarer words or sometimes often domain-specific words. So we'll just go down below and we'll see the, word, um, the text that we've put in here on the left and the analysis of the words on the right with their various colors coded in. If we go below, we'll see here in the yellow section for the academic word list that the words are identified as belonging to different sublists within the academic word list. Now, if we look at the first word here, context, we can compare back to the flax collections and go down to a collection called web collocations. Now I'm going to search for this word context and immediately and usefully this collection will show the related words. Um, sometimes we call these word families or derivatives. Now, when you're studying the academic word list, it's very useful to know the word family, how these words are used in different forms. And here, it'll give you more information about the grammatical patterns of these particular collocations. So if I'm looking at adjective plus context, for example, the broader context, I can click on that and inside the web collocations collection, um, I'll see here once again the broader context occurs 61,000 times. Now, if I click on the green link, this will take me to web samples. And here you'll see a little document icon. And this actually enables me to go back to the web page that this has come from. This has come from Law Week. Um, a publication from the British Columbian Bar Association. Now I'll go back and I'll go back again and you might have noticed to the right of this phrase, the broader context, you have the Union Jack. What does that stand for? That stands for the British National Corpus. So if we click on that, this is another freely available collection of language that's also very useful and we'll see here in highlighted form the words um, collocating with context, the broader context and we'll see very nice contextualized examples from the British National Corpus for this particular query and once again if you notice um, we go from 61,000 down to 42,000 and so on and so on. And this is showing which words are occurring 